friends, this is MD Vegan. I make a granola today and I have a ready-made mixture, a basic granola. You can take many different uh, flavors or kinds or what, what you like. This one is with a grated coconut. I show in another video how to grate the coconut from scratch, from the whole coconut. Very nice, makes lots of fun. And some dates here and some sunflower seeds. This is this basic granola. There are different, different kinds. I have three ingredients. I like the three. Yeah, so nice to have a nice um, feeling for the whole thing. And you can even taste the single ones. It's just the limit from simple to complexity. That's three. It's a perfection. Yeah. So this is my base. And I will combine this today with bananas and mangoes. Both are among my favorite fruit. And both are in India, very well known, Asia, all over Asia. Banana, I, mean, I don't <laughs> need to tell anything about banana, they are so nutrient dense and so healthy. The Ayurveda <coughs> science, the ancient um, art of um, healing and health, they say there is nothing healthier for us to eat than bananas. So um, it's very good and you can really eat it without being afraid because there's so much fiber. There's a lot of sugar, of course, almost no fat, but lots of fiber. The fiber does it and it's very healthy. And for the for the gut flora, you know, for the bacteria, amazing. And the mango, this is for the skin. I mean, they eat it for the skin and in almost every dish. You have savory, you have sweet, you have sour, <clears throat> hearty, whatever. You can cook it, you can eat raw, green, ri ripe. There are so many varieties, and it's always wonderful for the skin. There's nothing better. I mean, eat the mango, get beautiful and healthy. So, so two amazing fruit here, and I will um, because this is a. Granola is a little bit sweet, you know, the dates are sweet, the coconut a little bit sweet, and the sunflower seed not sweet, but altogether this is a little sweetness and very dense. So I would like to add to the banana something special to make it fine, and that is lemon juice and a little bit of grated um, ginger. You see, I have a ginger root here, a part of a ginger root. And um, I don't need to peel it. It's an organic ginger. You can grate it right away and use it. And together with a lemon, uh, I squeeze the lemon juice out. And uh, for the for the ginger, I will show you. Okay, I show you immediately for the for the for the banana. What I do? I just take the the lemon and uh, press it over the banana. And the banana and the lemon love each other. If I blend the banana with lemon in a smoothie, I can hardly think of any nice, uh, wonder, more wonderful. Um, of flavor. There's such a nice uh, blend of, of flavors, banana and lemon, there's a, I can dream of that. I mean, I'm not so into food, you know. I make a recipe every day, every day because I have to eat. And I want to show other people how to, eat, how to make it easy to eat healthy and delicious. That's why I'm doing it most of the time. I'm a vegan activist, you know, and food is the way. Yeah. Everybody has to eat. Almost, almost everybody has to eat, okay? That's why I'm doing it. And I love it a lot. And as soon as I did it, I began, I found, wow, it is so easy. I didn't know it before. I cooked all my life for other people. When I was little already, family, we liked food together. And I began cooking, and I always did it. But, you know, I took recipes from other people. And um, it was, um, yeah, I was glad to find a new recipe. Wow, that was so complex. I had no idea how they make them, the recipes, and how, how to develop a recipe. I had no idea. And it went on decades and decades only. And I began a little method here. Take three or basic recipes or these kind of things, very a limited number of ingredients. I began to feel, wow, it can be so easy to learn cooking. And now, actually, I make another recipe every single day, all on my own. Get some inspiration somewhere, see a video, read a book somewhere, oh, idea. I'll go to a health food shop, ah, there's a nice ingredient, idea. What can I combine it with? These kind of things happen just by the way. And so, you cook. To learn to cook, how to cook, very easy and super healthy. And plant-based diet, there is nothing easier um, than um, to explore the fantastic variety of plant-based foods, of nutrition all that, at all. If you begin with meat and dairy, forget about it. You will never reach that level. You know, <laughs> it's so absurd. You know, I can talk about that for hours, days, lives. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now I show you about the grater. Here is my grater. This is a grater with a microplane. It's very versatile. It comes from a garage, you know. Not this one. This comes from a, from a shop, from an actual shop with kitchen tools. But originally it came from a, from a garage, yeah. A, a housewife invented from a husband. <laughs> so and that was a revolution. 
and you can uh, do the grate, the ginger like this, with the grater here, with a microplane, because this is a very versatile tool. Or you can also do, you can buy um, a, actually a ginger grater. This one is very versatile, only for ginger. And I'll show you in a second uh, how it works. I grate the ginger here on the top. You know, grating, grating, grating. <laughs> it's very easy. And then, you see, and then how to get it down, how to get it into the juice. Well, I'll show you. I just take another lemon, where's the other lemon? The other half, here. I just take another lemon, the half of the lemon, and press it over the ginger, the red ginger. Yeah. And so, I get the ginger into the lemon, where it's supposed to be. I know together, these two. See, I don't mind about the seeds, you can take them out, but they are tall, actually also nice. You can take them out if you like, I don't mind. And then I put the lemon juice together with the ginger here, and here is the little pool here outside where all the ginger goes to, and here you can pour it out, it's the entrance, the exit, and you can pour it out with the bananas. Yeah? You don't need to take everything, it's according to you what you like. Yeah? But you have a very nice uh, mixture of lemon juice and ginger, and uh, both are very nice with banana, and both are also actually very nice with um, mango. Ginger and mango are perfect, and lemon too. Uh, this is very awesome, this combination. So now I have it all. I just combine, um, uh, what is first? The question what to put first in a bowl to mix depends on the texture mostly. So. Um, what is under the on the on the down on the top on the bottom has to be firm. So I guess this will be from the top on the bottom because this is the first ingredient. It's the granola. I'll show you. This is what it looks like. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> so I take some out. Depends on you how much you like. Yeah. Uh, this is a nutty part, the seed part. Yeah? Or actually, the, the coconut is most and the most of the coconut. Coconut is a fruit actually, but. But never mind, it's, it's a kind of seed, it doesn't matter, not seed, it doesn't matter. So now the bananas on top, and the mangoes, and I toss a little bit, careful. Yeah. Mm, I can see it already. I can see already how it, <laughs> what it tastes like. Actually, I'm curious because I never did it before. Yeah, it's a new recipe, and I love the ingredients. And I know how they combine very nicely. Coconut is perfect with mango and perfect with banana. And well, this is it for today. Huge breakfast. One mango, two bananas, and yeah, three tablespoons of granola base. Enjoy, subscribe and read on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. Find me on Facebook too, Instagram, Pinterest. See you soon.